As you can see, Lenovo just sent me over their Legion Pro 7i 16-inch gaming powerhouse, which they recently announced at CES 2023. And from the looks of it, as well as the spec sheet, this thing is one powerful gaming laptop. Just to get us all on the same page, we're talking the 24-core 36-thread Intel i9-13900HX, an NVIDIA RTX 4080, which can be specced up to a 4090, and all of that is powering a 16-inch 2560 by 1600 IPS display, running at 240 hertz. So off the bat, I expect this thing to be crazy good when it comes to gaming. And of course, when it comes to the design aesthetic, it is the tried and true look of a Legion laptop. It's been around for quite a bit with the Legion 5 and 7 series. But we do get some super fancy RGB with the light bar and single key addressable keyboard, just in case some people didn't already know this thing was for gaming. And you can of course turn off all the RGB if you do want a more discreet look in the office or a classroom, but overall we get a 16 inch gaming laptop that's under 22 millimeters thick and comes in at a little over six pounds. And that may seem a bit heavy, but compared to some other gaming laptops with similar specs, you're typically looking at an 18 inch form factor and anywhere from a half a pound to a full pound heavier. Lenovo is able to save on some weight with a full aluminum CNC chassis that results in a very stiff feel, but you do get some weight back with the impressive vapor chamber under the hood, which we'll take a peek at in a little bit. But I think it's time to jump in to some of the details of this machine, starting with port selection. So if you're looking to game on a laptop, port selection is key as you probably don't want to be plugging in a mouse, headset, uh, external displays, and everything else you might want into a dongle. So on both sides of the Legion Pro 7i, we get USB-A ports, I believe they're 3.2 Gen 1 ports. Uh, we then also get a 3.5mm mic and headphone combo jack on the right side, along with the e-shutter physical cutoff for the camera. And on the left side, we also get a Thunderbolt 4 port capable of 40 gigabit per second transfer speeds, power delivery, and DisplayPort 1.4 to drive any external display. On the back of the Pro 7i, which Lenovo continues to make use of for additional ports, we get an Ethernet port, a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port capable of 140 watts of power delivery and DisplayPort 1.4, an HDMI 2.1 port capable of powering an 8K display at 60 hertz, another two USB-A 3.2 ports, which one of them uh, isn't always on one, and your proprietary Lenovo power connector capable of pulling all 330 watts from this massive power brick. All in all, this is some great port selection, which should prevent you from ever needing a dongle with this device. Next, let's talk about the display. The 16 inch 16 by 10 display is a QHD IPS panel with a 2560 by 1600 resolution and a 240 hertz refresh rate. You can also run the display at 60 hertz when you're not gaming just by using an FNR macro toggle to save on some battery life. It's also able to output a peak brightness of 500 nits for display HDR 400 support. Although I wouldn't buy this thing for HDR gameplay, I'd probably use an external display. But you do get Dolby Vision support and the panel is calibrated for peak color accuracy with x rights Pantone certification, making it a perfect setup for content creators as well. Overall, this display checks all of the boxes for an amazing gaming experience on the go. And when it comes to gaming laptops, personally, I don't feel the webcam, microphone, and speaker setup are that important, as you're probably not taking too many video calls on this device, and I'd most likely be using a gaming headset when I'm you know, gaming on this laptop. But either way, the device comes with a full HD 1080p camera that has a physical e-shutter switch for privacy, and overall, the camera looks pretty good if you ever need to take a video call. The microarray sounds fine for the occasions you need it. And here's a quick test. Here is a quick test of the microphone array inside of the Legion Pro 7i. It's definitely not the perfect setup if you're looking to stream off the laptop's built-in hardware, but for any other use cases, it should do just fine. In terms of the speaker setup, being that it is a 16-inch laptop, we are restricted to two downward firing 2 watt Harman super linear speaker system with a smart amp and Nehemic 3D audio capabilities. 
You can use the Nehemic app to customize the sound experience for the downward firing speakers, but overall they do sound pretty good and get decently loud. Uh, here's some tests with a few different profiles. Although the camera and speaker setup may not be that important on a gaming laptop, the keyboard and trackpad are critical. Well, maybe not the trackpad, but definitely the keyboard. So you're probably using a mouse for gaming, but when you do need the trackpad, it is large and very smooth, so no complaints there. And when it comes to the keyboard, I already mentioned the per key addressable RGB, uh, but in terms of the actual functionality of the keyboard, Lenovo delivers as always with their True Strike keyboard technology, where you get one and a half millimeters of travel with 0.2 millimeter pitch, and overall it just makes for an awesome typing and gaming experience. So with all that good stuff out of the way, it's time to talk specs and performance. So I already mentioned the i9-13900HX and the RTX 4080, but you also get 32 gigs of DDR5 overclocked to 6,000 megahertz, as well as a one terabyte PCIe Gen 4 SSD and Wi-Fi 6E on board. The 13900HX is 24 core, 32 thread monster with eight multi-threaded performance cores boosting up to 5.4 gigahertz and 16 efficiency cores boosting to 3.9. This thing averages around 60 watts of power consumption, but when it is turboing at full tilt, you can see up to 160 watts of power draw. That's just crazy for a laptop CPU. When it comes to the 4080, we're power consumption limited by NVIDIA to 175 watts, but again, just crazy power draw by a laptop. So altogether, when this thing is running at 100%, we're looking at right around 330 watts from the CPU and GPU, hence the 330 watt power brick. This device does come with a MUX switch on board, allowing you to physically cut off the 4080 from the system. Uh, let's say when you're not plugged into wall power, allowing the system to run a bit more efficiently on the integrated Intel Iris graphics. So all of that power consumption begs the question, what can you expect from battery life? Uh, so we do get a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery, which is the largest you can travel with on an airplane. Uh, but even with the hybrid mode selected, uh, streaming a video with 4080 turned off, uh, we dropped 50% in one hour and ran the battery dry after two hours and 15 minutes. With the 4080 discrete GPU enabled, it dropped 50% in 45 minutes and 100% in an hour and a half. So this thing is definitely not winning any battery life awards, but I wasn't expecting too much in that department. But with all of that power running through this system, performance is going to be limited by cooling. So let's take a look under the hood and see how Lenovo is keeping this thing cool while also taking a quick look at repairability and upgradability options for this machine. So in order to get under the hood of the Pro 7i, it's just 10 screws and then a guitar pick in order to pry off the bottom cover. But then once you do that, everything is super accessible. You have your battery, you have one M.2 slot along with the Wi-Fi card and a second M.2 slot for a secondary SSD. You also have access to your RAM, which I'll show you in a second, and this giant vapor chamber. So the vapor chamber pretty much expands the entire back half of this laptop covering both the CPU and GPU and it also uses liquid metal as the thermal interface material between the CPU, GPU and that uh, cooler. So now we can take off uh, this uh, uh, electromagnetic frequency uh, blocker for the RAM and then we get access to our two DIMMs of DDR5 memory which then you can of course uh, replace, upgrade down the line. So there's a lot of upgradability here with both storage, RAM, and pretty much everything else. So with all that copper under the hood, we should perform pretty well in the temperature department. And when you're not looking to run this machine at full tilt, Lenovo does give you the standard thermal mode options of quiet, balanced, and performance for those situations when you wanna reduce CPU and GPU clocks in order to reduce fan noise, uh, but of course, during performance testing, we wanted to push this thing to its limits. 
Uh, so of course we were running it in performance mode. So first things first, let's get a baseline on temperatures. Running Cinebench and Furmark for a 10 minute stress test, uh, we peaked the GPU at 78 degrees Celsius, which is definitely within the safe range for this hardware. But in short turbo boost, we did see the CPU get all the way up to 100 degrees Celsius, which Lenovo handles well, allowing the CPU to continue to boost even at those temps for short durations. But during this 10 minute at 100% load test, we did see clocks drop under two gigahertz for the majority of the test, just because temperatures were getting high. But when running a single Cinebench run, we can see our clock speed stay right around four gigahertz the entire run, even though temps were sitting in the high 90s, allowing us to pull off a score of just above 29,000 points. Just for context, that's pretty much right in line with a 13700K desktop CPU. Overall, just insane performance in those quick bursty workloads. But now it's time to run this thing through its paces in a series of games. So the first game we're gonna look at is Valorant, and this will really give us an idea on that high refresh rate gaming experience on this laptop. So pretty much throughout the entire gaming experience, we're sitting well over uh, 300 FPS, so definitely taking advantage of that 240 FPS uh, refresh rate. And overall, it is an amazing experience playing a game like this at this high of a refresh rate. Uh, and if we switch over to a game that's maybe not as dependent on refresh rate, like F1, Here's just kind of your standard gameplay, uh, no ray tracing, nothing like that. Uh, so definitely outputting a pretty good amount of FPS. And even with no ray tracing on, this, this game still looks really, really good. And when we do look at the FPS numbers, we were getting 270 FPS minimums, 300 on average. And when we do turn ray tracing on, the color just pops on this display and it looks really, really good. But take a listen to the actual sound out of this laptop. So with ray tracing turned on, we're still sitting at pretty much an average of 80 FPS, and that is really, really good for that type of game. And when we switch over to the benchmark in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, again, a really kind of both FPS as well as you want a really nice looking experience uh, type of game. So we want pretty much over 144 FPS if we can manage that uh, with this hardware, and overall the game just also looks really, really good. And when we do get out of the game, and we did manage 164 FPS on average with all ultra settings, with the GPU being our bottleneck. So there we have it. This machine is one of the most powerful 16 inch gaming laptops you can buy in 2023, but it does come with a hefty price tag as expected. The 4070 model comes in right around 2300 US dollars, with the 4080 version coming in at 2850, and the 4090 version coming in around 3400. I will have them all linked down in the video description, so definitely check them out if you're interested. However, when you do compare it to some similarly spec gaming laptops, it's pretty much right in line at the price point. Overall, if you're looking for the pinnacle of portable gaming performance in 2023, then you definitely have to consider the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. And if you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.